Here is an interesting question that someone asked me a few years ago. They wanted to know what the strongest stairway, the most heavy duty stairway I ever built was. And I spent a lot of time working on homes, regular residential houses. And most of the stairways I built just went up to, at the most, a nine foot ceiling with um, maybe some 12 inch joists, something like that. Um, so maybe a 10 foot floor distance. But one time I worked on a commercial building and I needed to put a stairway that was strictly going to be used as a fire egress, a fire escape stairway. And uh, not only did it have to be to code, but it needed to match a variety of uh, different uh, building codes for the fire laws. And so, for example, um, you had to make sure that if a fire started underneath the stairway, that the stairs were going to be thick enough. They were going to last it. The fire couldn't burn through the stairs. And then the fire, uh, the stairway had to be enclosed, which you'll see here in a little bit. It'll make a little more sense. But the stairway itself, um, the stringers were um, 6 by 16. And, and I believe they were about 26 feet long. So 26 foot lumber. And then I cut the stringers out of them. And, uh, and, it, and it had 4 by 12 treads. And they were about a 4 foot wide. So uh, this thing was heavy duty and each one of these stringers were lifted into place one at a time. And uh, I actually used um, what uh, some type of a winch system to get each one up. There was no way I was going to be able to lift them up. I didn't have a crane or a forklift where I could lift it up. And, and then, of course, the treads were um, installed one at a time and along with the brackets. So we it used brackets, heavy duty brackets. And the stringers fastened to the concrete with some type of an anchoring system like this. And uh, you would think, ah, oh, wait a minute, you would need a whole, you know, something stronger than just one bolt. But uh, most of the time, uh, stair stringers, they aren't going to move. You attach it at the top and it's at the bottom. Um, you're pretty good with a, with a bolt going in it and a bolt going down and uh, it's probably not going anywhere and the bracket that I might have used might have had four bolts um, two, two on the going into the wood two going into the concrete it was quite some time ago and I can tell you that uh, the stairway was built in uh, the city of Huntington Beach California this particular stairway and it was for a famous skateboarder. It was his company. So it was kind of interesting to work there. I'm not going to give you any more information than that. Um, definitely don't want to get uh, anybody in trouble. But uh, here are some brackets here that are going to attach the stringer to the framing. The floor joist or whatever the head out is going to be. Or even the framing. Even the wall framing. Another view of it there. Brackets. And the 4x12 treads. Now, it wasn't a tilt-up building, I told you. It had a concrete wall on the exterior. The stairway went up against the concrete wall. And the fire escape door was right here. And then it had a regular um, framed, I believe this was a 2x6 wall, um, probably about 18 feet tall. And it was going to drywall with 5H drywall for Type X and of course, with dry with 5 h drywall on each side, it would give it a two hour burn through rating. And I know they were tempted. You know, they wanted to put a closet in here. There was so much storage space underneath the stairway. It was ridiculous. But to put a door um, and have access underneath the stairway, it would have required even um, more money to spend and uh, they weren't willing to do it. And I believe it actually need, would have needed a fire sprinkler underneath the stairs. Another thing this stairway required was two by six risers, something uh, that uh, would prevent the fire from burning through and it had to be an inch and a half thick to provide the one hour burn through rating. Um, so I just probably, I'm guessing I just put two by six underneath the tread something like this and then nailed them to the back of the 
treads, um, the 4 by 12 treads. Had to be a solid barrier all the way through, again for the fire. View of it there. Another view. And this is about it. This stairway didn't, uh, when you walked up and down this stairway, it was like you were walking up and down a concrete stairway. This was just one heavy duty stairway and definitely the strongest stairway I ever built. And um, I would imagine it's still doing fine even if they had a, a fire in the building. I don't know how much uh, you could have damage you could have done to this uh, beast here. So anyway, that's it. Hope it answered your question. If not, I hope it gave you an idea. If you're going to build a strong stair where you're looking for something heavy duty, um, maybe use the brackets instead of notching the stringers. Um, notching the stringers weakens the lumber. Uh, maybe a solid piece of wood. 4x12 seems to work fine for um, something that's going to be about 16 to 18 feet long for the stringer. 6x12 um, is going to be a little better. You're going to go to maybe 20 feet. Um, you're going to go 24 feet. Um, I hate to say it. A 6x12 is going to probably be just fine for 24 feet. Um, but uh, why not just spend a few extra dollars, go to the 6x14, uh, 6x16, like this one here, just might not be necessary. And for a fire escape, yeah, this ought to give you a pretty good idea what was involved in building a stairway for, for a fire egress emergency. In case there was a fire, people would be able to escape from the upper area down here and safely out of the building.